Money cliches are a dime a dozen. However, some of those financial catchphrases can truly be applied to your real life and pay off in the long run. One such saying is especially true for business owners. The saying that cash is king, well, legitimately it represents the importance of liquidity for any business of any size. Cash is needed for everything involved to successfully run a business. Here to talk more about that is Bob Sander, the commercial loan officer for First Bank. Bob, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Is there a way for a business to predict the amount of cash it's going to have? There is, Dan. So one of the important things for businesses really is to look at uh, where their historic cash flows have been and then look at um, any changes they see coming to it. Maybe it's new business they've, they've picked up or uh, changes in employment, whatever, and then use that to predict what their future cash flow should be. Right. Now, for most businesses, I would guess that expenses may be more predictable than the, the cash or than revenue. How do you determine a balance? That's, that's a great question. So there's really for for most businesses right they should have a decent feeling of, of where those revenues are going to go the expenses usually are relatively fixed it's more dealing with the uh, the revenues that they get mm -hmm. and then they need to make sure that they can uh, balance that out to, to take care of seasonal peaks and troughs yeah and, and that's where first bank can come in I guess in, in the loan department very much so yeah I mean there there are many resources that we do use we'll look at, um, at business needs and we'll really sit down with those family-owned business owners to try to hit on um, key things like uh, where their cash is, where the cash reserves need to be. And then also we'll look at uh, if they need to bridge that maybe with a line of credit or a term loan. Sure. Well, let me ask you a, what, a couple of what-if questions sure. here. And they're, they're kind of similar. What if you don't end up with the cash you predicted? And what if you end up with more than the cash you predicted? <laughs> Should you hold on to that cash? Right. Great question. So really... For, for most businesses, right, if you uh, end up with too little cash, it can cause strain on the business, right? Sometimes excess cash, though, can add a uh, little extra risk to the business because those business owners may get overconfident with that. That's why it's really important to have a good banking partner to sit down with, sit down with someone who knows how to help those family-owned businesses really manage those cash flows effectively. Yeah, so maybe you shouldn't necessarily hold on to that cash. There are, there are good there's times. There's extra cash. Right. There are good times to expend, yeah. uh, spend that. So I have a customer who recently was looking at, at where their balances were and said, you know what, we have four or five locations, maybe a good time to build a new location. So we went through, did the analysis, helped them figure out that it really was. And so uh, now they'll be opening here in the, in the next few months. Yeah, that's all about protecting the future. And you can do that with First Bank. Check out uh, Bob Sander, the commercial loan officer. And how can they contact you, Bob? I think contact us at uh, firstbanks.com, or they can go to our Facebook site, and they can also go to um, our LinkedIn site. All right, great. great. Thanks so much for being with us. We